Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have x cube plus 2x is equal to minus 3. And we will solve this problem for the value of x. Uh, so the very first thing we are going to do is uh, here we will uh, rewrite this equation in the form of x cube. Here uh, we see that uh, the term of x square is missing. So we will include the term of x square uh, having its coefficient is 0 so we can write it as x cubed plus 0 time of x square plus 2x and we move this minus 3 from right to the left hand side so it is plus 3 is equal to 0 and now uh, we will solve this problem by using the synthetic division uh, so i think so you know about uh, uh, the synthetic division uh, so that first we need uh, the one root of this equation uh, so now i will check here x is equal to minus one is x equal to minus one be the root of this equation or not so we will put uh, minus one in this equation and it will becomes minus one cube plus here zero time of x square is zero plus two times of minus one plus three is equal to zero and here you have minus one cube is minus one and this is minus 2 and this is plus 3 is equal to 0 so here you have minus 3 and plus 3 0 is equal to 0 so this means that x is equal to minus 1 satisfies the given equation so x is equal to minus 1 be the root of the uh, this cubic equation so now we apply here a uh, synthetic uh, division so that according to synthetic division uh, we first i will choose the coefficients of these uh, all terms uh, so that these uh, coefficients are uh, 1 0 2 and 3 and we will find uh, the root of the given equation which is minus 1 so that first i will write this one as it is so now we multiply this term by this term so one times of minus one is minus one and now we add these two terms so zero plus minus one is minus one now we again multiply this minus one by minus one and we get plus one and we can write here plus one here now we again add these two terms so two plus one is three now we again multiply this 3 by minus 1 it will becomes minus 3 we can write here minus 3 now we add these two terms and we get the remainder is 0 because this is the our remainder so now we can write here the depressed equation so uh, the depressed equation is x square minus x plus 3 is equal to 0 so uh, our depressed equation is the uh, a quadratic equation so now we will solve this depressed equation by using the quadratic formula so here you have a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1 and c is equals to 3 and the quadratic formula is uh, x is equals to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 times of ac square root over 2 times of a and now we put all the values of a b and c here uh, here you have the value b is minus 1 so when we put here this is minus minus plus 1 and here you have b square the value b is minus 1 square minus 1 square is plus 1 minus 4 times of ac the value of a is 1 and the value of c is 3 so 4 times of 3 is 12 square root over 2 times of a and the value of a is 1 so 2 times of 1 is 2 so finally we get here uh, 1 plus minus minus 11 square root over 2 so these are the two other roots of the given equation and we will finally write these roots are x is equal to 1 plus minus here you have minus 11 square root and minus 11 square root is equals to 11 square root of iota over 2 so these are the two complex roots of the given equation so hence finally we have the three roots of the given equation are that these two are the uh, complex roots or non-real roots and 
its one root is uh, real so which is x is equal to minus 1 so this is the real uh, root so the given equation has two complex roots and one real root so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel for more exciting videos